So today we have a wonderful experience of Vinod Ji with our beloved Gurudev. On the beginning of his association with Gurudev, Vinod Ji was not so keen in attending pujas. And this story happens during the Navratri time, in the time which we all love to go to ashram. However, he decided to be in Hyderabad during this time and he returned to ashram on the last day of Rishi Homa. Even when the final ceremony began, he didn't bother to attend the Homa and he was staying away chatting with his friends. And he thought to himself, okay, tomorrow is Monday, I'll be attending the regular Rudrabhishega from tomorrow on. That was his thought in his mind. The next morning, the puja started at 7.30 am and Vinodji was too lazy and he got up at 7.45 and after all the washing, bathing etc, he went to the meditation hall. On the way to the meditation hall, he was thinking, why don't I have a cup of tea? He went to the canteen to have a cup of tea and he waited there for 15 minutes to get his tea. While he was drinking the tea, Kripalji came along and they sat there talking for some time. It was around 8.30 now and Ramesh at the canteen said, Ji, very very soft hot idlis are ready. Are you having some? So Vinodji was like, okay then, I'll have some idlis and go then. By the time he finished the idlis, it was 9.30 and the puja was finished. He thought to himself, never mind, I'll go to Kutir and meet Gurudev. And it was around 10 am then. When Vinodji reached Kutir, Raguji prevented him from getting inside the Kutir. Raguji is our beloved Swamiti Satyojada ji now. He assured Vinodji that he was acting upon Gurudev's instructions. So Vinodji decided to wait outside the Kutir for his turn. There were around 30 people outside the Kutir, all were waiting for Gurudev's darshan. And even Gur Vinodji was also staying there waiting for his turn. After a while, Vinodji again tried to enter into Gurudev's Kutir and again Guruji told no to go inside. And he was like waiting and people who came after him have already met Gurudev and went back. Then why he is not letting Vinodji inside? It was noon and again still he was not let inside. Vinodji was in a bit of disappointment. It was now 1 pm and Vinodji was not only disappointed but also in a bit of annoyance. Finally, he accepted that Gurudev doesn't want to give him a darshan and he told to himself that it was his right and everything is fine and he went back from there. At about 3 pm, Gurudev asked him to go to the Kudir to meet him. He was feeling a bit bitter in his mind but he still went to Gurudev. Gurudev asked Vinodji so seriously, Vinod, are you so disappointed for not letting you inside when you came at the morning? Vinodji replied, Yes, Gurudev, of course I am. Gurudev replied to Vinodji that the devas, the angels and the subtle energies, those were here during the puja time was in annoyance due to the disrespect showed by Vinodji by not attending the pujas. And Guru should do something to save you from that. So I kept you out of the Kudir. That was a little punishment from my side to save you. Gurudev again told, you should have been punished very severely by them. But when Guru punishes you, their punishment becomes invalid. And that's how I could save you from their punishment. In Guru Gita, Lord Shiva tells Parvati Devi that, if I punishes you, then Guru can save you from that. But if Guru does punish you, then nobody can do anything about it. So, if Gurudev seems to be punishing us, it's just for our benefit and is saving us from something bigger to come. 